So today we're going to look at the display parameters. Currently uh, we have our part on screen and we're in the navigation panel. So we're going to switch to the display panel. The display panel gives you all the options to view your part. It doesn't affect the shape or anything else of the part. It's just how you want to view it. So if you scan something with texture, the first one is how the texture is displayed. So without shading, it looks like that and is a bit more difficult to understand. With shading, which is a source of a fictitious source of illumination, it makes it easier to understand the shape of the, the part. Next, you can set the material glossiness. If you set it very high, it becomes very glossy. Normally, it's a personal choice, but most people set it to around 10. Next thing is clip view. Now, clip view works by applying a visual clipping plane that is parallel to your screen. So you need to activate clip view when you already have the part in the position you want. So I activate clip view and now I can slide a plane up or down from the screen and not view certain parts. It's good for viewing inside a part, for instance, that makes it easier. But uh, again, it's purely a visual effect. Now I can turn off clip view and turn it roughly sideways. And again, the plane will be parallel to the screen. So you now get another way of clipping your object. Quick rendering while moving is simply a software device that re-renders as you move it around, move it around the screen quickly. So keep it checked. Show isolated patches. If you don't, they will disappear. We can see, for instance, there was a very few isolated patches here and there on this. So it's whether you want to see them or not. show origin the origin is there it is up there and you can show it or not show it you could show the viewpoint reference which is this logo in the bottom left which is very useful i recommend you keep it that way because once you've done performed an alignment you can maneuver around your part very very quickly and finally show linear scale in the bottom right there's this linear scale and you can turn it on or off and you can increase the font size for people who require a larger font size to view. Next is how the mesh is displayed and you can display it as triangles, which is invisible to you, especially if the texture is turned on. In fact, I will turn off the texture just so that you can see You can choose wireframe, which at this scale becomes solid blue. But as you zoom in, you can see that the triangles are empty. You can choose triangles and wireframe. And you can finally choose transparent triangles so that you can see inside the object. And the final option is point cloud. Now, point cloud is the triangles without the interconnecting, so just the nodes of the triangles. And I forgot to mention that you can choose, let's go back to this pretty much the standard. You can choose whether it shows you flat triangles. Now this we have to zoom in for, or you can have them smoothed. And finally, the last option is to show you the boundaries, all the boundaries on the object. And they are highlighted in pink or red, depending on your color sense, and show you all the boundaries that you will probably need to go and do some hole filling or boundary smoothing on, but that's your choice. So that covers all the general display of your part.